I think when it comes to responsibility, responsibility always comes out of relationship. And therefore, if I'm in relationship with the father and I'm beginning to grasp the vast sons of his thoughts about me as a son, then I'm going to be begin to operate out of that and therefore not out of lost identity. So the more I'm in relationship with the father who gives me identity as a son, the more easy it is to act out of that identity rather than trying not to act out of something I'm not. So part of the problem with the church system and the relationships within the church system and how it works is it focuses on you trying not to do something rather than on being someone who doesn't do that. See, if you're a sinner saved by grace, you're going to sin because you see yourself as a sinner and therefore God's grace is always going to be there for you, but you're still going to be a sinner in that way. Whereas if you see yourself as a saint, as a son, then that is who you're going to operate as. Now, there may be occasions in the process of having our minds renewed to the fullness of what sonship is, and that comes out of the relationship of engaging with the vast sum of God's thoughts about us. We realize more and more about our true nature and therefore we operate out of that true nature more and more rather than the process that we're in. And of course, we didn't start from a neutral position of having nothing. We have a history and a past which was associated probably in lost identity and therefore we may have neural pathways and links to lost identity, memories links to lost identity, memories links to trauma in our past, which sometimes trigger our behavior. That being said, those triggers, once we identify them, we can deal with them and make sure that they don't trigger us in the future. The problem is, if you focus on the negative, the negative has the biggest place in your mind and trying not to do something is really hard because it's just focusing on the negative. It's like, if I was to say to you, don't think of a red car, don't think of a red car, don't think of a red car, immediately you're trying not to think of a red car. You're thinking of a red car and trying not to think about a red car. So if our consciousness and our uh, consciousness is more focused on our lost identity past rather than the reality of who we are in the present, then we will continue to operate out of that try not to try and the religious system continually focuses on that the religious system continually focuses on the negative and try not to be this negative well you're not that person that is not the true you so the more you focus on the true you as a son of god the less that negative behavior has a part to play in your life but, but there is a renewal of the mind's process, and we continue to realize, making sure we do not get into guilt, shame, condemnation. Because God will never bring guilt, shame, condemnation on us if we operate out of, in the process, out of an area in our lives which is still focused on the trauma or something has happened to us or associated with the triggers to our previous experiences. God understands and God wants us to focus on the fact that we're already forgiven and we focus on forgiveness consciousness. So we declare our forgiveness, not declare our ooh, repentance and sorrow. Doesn't mean we aren't sorry if we do something which has hurt somebody else or ourselves, but that's not the focus. The focus is on, I am forgiven. I thank you, Father, for your forgiveness. You've already accomplished in me. I'm forgiveness focused, not, oh, oh, I'm a worm. I'm no, oh, look what I've done. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible. Because all you're focusing on then is, is actually out of that area that was broken or negative. Don't do that. So there's a, there's a quote that I've used a number of times from, from someone I don't know. But I saw it yeah, online, Cindy McPhee Reed. It says this, I'm realizing that as long as I have a sin consciousness, I will always see something wrong with me, big or small, that God is not pleased with. That will always bring guilt and shame, which makes us run from God. Love, grace and righteousness consciousness will always bring peace and joy. God is always smiling over us. So if we have that understanding and that mindset, then that will bring about the process that we go through in which we don't need to think, oh, I need to take responsibility for my behavior. I need to take responsibility. The more you're in relationship with God, the more 
sonship responsibility will focus on not changing your behavior, but outworking your true identity in everyday life. But it is a process. Just make sure that you don't get caught up in failure. You're not a failure. You're a work in process. So you're being renewed. Your mind is being renewed. And it's okay. And God understands that through that renewal process, sometimes we will focus out of the things that are not yet renewed. But that doesn't change who you are. Who you truly are will begin to bring about that renewal of your mind because it will come out of the relationship and got the vast sum of God's thoughts about you that he has about you that he wants you to come into the reality of. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.